Welcome, seekers of wisdom and understanding to another episode of Ancient Biblical Spirituality. Today we pose a thought-provoking question. What is the biblical perspective of gender identity and pronouns? To comprehend this, we must rewind to the genesis of creation. The Bible narrates that God created Adam, a term not confined to gender but embodying both male and female. Interestingly, within this narrative lies a profound truth. God granted each individual the right to self-existence or self-determination. This right represents the freedom each person possesses to identify and self-define as they feel aligned. It's a cornerstone of our creation. But, this right is not without a significant responsibility, the obligation to honor the self-determination of others. We label this principle, self-existent equity. In layman's terms, it signifies that while everyone has the prerogative to self-define, others are not compelled to validate or consent to that self-definition. It's a delicate equilibrium that fortifies individual autonomy. Now we must confront a pivotal point. When one person's self-determination is pressured to capitulate to another's, it veers into the territory of oppression. The biblical perspective, therefore, advocates for the emancipation of individuals from enforcing their beliefs on others. It's an invitation to harmonize freedom with responsibility. Today, we've navigated the biblical perspective of gender identity and pronouns, illuminating the concept of self-existent equity. Keep in mind, the right of self-determination is a divine gift, but it carries with it the responsibility to respect and acknowledge the varied self-definitions of our fellow human beings. Thank you for journeying with us on ancient biblical spirituality. Keep your hearts and minds open for more enlightening discussions. This is Anointed Life of the International Institute of Pneumatology, bidding you peace and understanding.